Berlin is a magnificent city, home to 3.7 million of Germany's 83 million people. It hosts some of the country's most famous tourist attractions: the Reichstag Parliament Building, the Brandenburg Gate, the Television Tower. Charlottenburg Palace and Museum Island, among others. It hosts three of Germany's top ten universities. It has the best hospital in Europe. It is home to a diverse range of subcultures, and has become a central hub of German filmmaking, music, theater, and museums. But you know what Berlin does not have? The city does not have a GDP per capita higher than the national average. It does not host the National Stock Exchange, which remains in Frankfurt. And you can even see this backwardness in the favorite sport of Europeans, as Berlin does not have a world-class association football team, which is usually a staple for a major Western European capital city. In November 2003. Governing Mayor of Berlin Klaus Wowereit famously coined a phrase that was to become both a motto and an economic description of the German capital: "Poor but sexy." So why is this the case? Let's find out. The concept of a divided capital city is more widespread than you might think. While Nicosia is internationally considered to be part of Cyprus, the Cypriot government only controls the southern portions of the city, with the north integrated into the self-declared Republic of Northern Cyprus, thus effectively dividing Nicosia. Inversely, the city of Jerusalem is considered to be divided by international law, but has been effectively united under Israel since 1967. To get back to Berlin, that city was for a long time the stereotypical example of a divided capital city. I mentioned a few famous buildings earlier, but what might be Berlin's most famous structure is the Berlin Wall, which was used as a political barrier to divide the city between 1961 and 1989. After World War II had ended in 1945, the city had been partitioned between the four occupation powers even though all of the surrounding area was given to the Soviet Union. This resulted in West Berlin becoming stuck deep inside East Germany. As a result, the young Federal Republic, West Germany, distributed investments and institutions elsewhere. The West German capital was in Bonn, several federal courts were scattered throughout the country, Munich and Hamburg received the military universities, Frankfurt became the financial hub, etc. Berlin was under the rival influence of six different countries, and was never able to receive the same amount of investment and prevalence of other capital cities, and has a plethora of problems as a result. Berlin is today 59.7 billion euros in debt, while the state's school system, universities, and police force require desperate renovations. The city, which is its own state in Germany, has the highest crime rate of all states, even compared to the other two city-states, Hamburg and Bremen. It does poorly on education and has higher school dropout rates than the national average. But the stereotypical example of Berlin's failures is the project which has become a meme throughout all of Germany. The airport. The aforementioned Berlin mayor Klaus Wowereit described it as his biggest failure in office upon his resignation in 2014. Planning for the airport had started in the early 1990s, and construction began in September 2006. The airport was scheduled for opening in October 2011, but was subsequently plagued by contractor bankruptcies, by bribery, faulty construction, by failure to comply with security standards, and by a chronic lack of funds. The costs of the project ballooned from an initially planned 2 billion euros to what now well exceeds 6 billion euros. 
When the airport was finally finished and ready for opening in November 2020, it was promptly forced to delay operations because of the ongoing global pandemic. And so, the story of Berlin being poor but sexy is just as much the story of the Berlin Wall and of the division of Germany as it is the story of the economic mismanagement that so often annoys the inhabitants of other German states. It is a fascinating story, and a story with lasting socio-economic implications. And now you know a little bit more about it. Thank you for watching, likes and subscriptions would be appreciated. Cheers.